but anyways, they finally came in, so, um, I hope it's a TP4056, and let's look at it closely, oh yeah, so first we'll, we'll go over it, so I paid total after everything shipped to Canada from Banggood, I got it from, from Banggood, um, I can see why people like Banggood, both of, both of these products came together in the same package very quickly, uh, because I guess Banggood, everything comes from only a few warehouses rather than from random people like eBay does. Uh, well, you know, like dozens and dozens, well, hundreds of different individuals and companies. This won't focus. Hmm. Anyways, um, yeah, so I, after all said and done, it was a dollar and 20 cents for each TP4056 for me in Canada. And that's good. And so its rating is, so the input is between negative 0.3 volts and 8 volts is what you can put into it, which is a little strange, but that's fine. And the output is um, 4.2 volts, obviously, to charge the 18650 batteries, like like this guy here. And you know, um, 1.2 amps of uh, is the maximum charging amperage. So we'll look at it a bit. There's lots of videos on these things. They're very, very, very popular. So that's it. And so battery even has output and input. Um, so I'm not really sure. I'm going to put it onto my um, UPS 1000 uh, watt one, this guy here. So all that stuff is going to go. Oh, this thing's not autofocusing. Okay, anyways. So I'm going to put it onto here. Each, each you know, row is going to have its own. I'm going to test it out. See how it goes. Hmm. But, anyways, um, so yeah, that's, that'll be exciting. I'll do a video on um, testing this out. I don't know how exactly I'm going to test it out. I can do it with an oscilloscope, I guess, uh, to do the in-depth stuff. I don't know if I want to do that. There's lots of good videos. I just recommend doing that, but, um, you know. Whatever, it was cheap, I got 10 of them, so it wasn't very much money. 1.2 times 10, that's how much money I paid for them, so that's fine. Um, maybe I shouldn't have bought them, but no big deal. Anyways, so these guys, these guys are really, really nice. I was extremely concerned. I'll have links in the description of these two items um, where I got them from, uh, but I strongly recommend. I looked at, uh, like... Uh, like I said in my last video, I'm sorry my last video was so long, but in my last video I said that uh, I check four different, four or more different sources for parts. I check Amazon, eBay, Banggood, Best Gear, and Alibaba. So that's five, I guess. I check all of them, and Banggood was the best option. It wasn't the cheapest option, but it was maximum 20 days delivery, and actually let's... um. Let's check. Okay. Um, well, I'm, I'm going to talk about this guy while I, while I search up how long ago I ordered them. So anyways, uh, yeah, it was $1.85 for each uh, voltmeter. These ones I chose green. It's very bright and vibrant. And it can measure between 2.6 volts and 30 volts. So it's got a very good range of voltage measurement. I'm very happy with that. So let me... Uh, Quickly jump in and check how long it took for these to come in, just to show why Banggood is is Banggood. <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah, there's it running. I just have it hooked up to a battery, 3.57 volts, and uh, it's very nice. I, I like this green. Um, I should have maybe diversified and tried a few different things, but um, yeah. There it is. It's flickering, but it doesn't flicker in real life. It's just because of the video camera. But anyway, so <clears throat> I bought it on October 14th, and it showed up November 5th. So 21 days. 
Uh, that's much, much better than eBay by an extremely long shot, and the price was almost exactly the same, so I'm, I'm very happy with Banggood, and yeah, it's, uh, I'm not sponsored by them, obviously, but I'm just saying it's, you know, I'm very happy with it. But that's it, that's it running, and it's got the three wires, so I'm extremely happy about that. So, it also has an adjustable potentiometer right there in the center, so I'm going to be practicing that, testing it out. Um, but yeah, that's, um, I'm going to use this for testing purposes, and I'm going to have them all on on-off switches, so they're not wasting electricity. From the batteries um, they're not on all the time so I'm gonna use these tiny lights or tiny on off switches look at that my thumb is pretty big but yeah they're, um, they're very very small so that's what I'm gonna use and I'm actually right now going to try this potentiometer and see what happens so I'm gonna set that up and let's see Okay, it's working, and alright, this is really neat, um, I'm gonna figure out what, what it is, but watch this. Look at that, alright, so, we're gonna find out what resistance value this is, um, to get this out of, um, out of your battery pack. This is not focusing, I'm sorry about that guys, it's not focusing, but, you see how that goes? It's, um... So whatever resistance value, and there'll probably be different values based off what voltage your battery's at, but um, it gets very bright. Like um, this is max brightness, and it doesn't show very well, but right here is perfect brightness. It's very dim. Um, I like I like this value right here. I'm trying to do this. So at 2.9 volts, but it's 342 ohms is what this potentiometer is at. So the next thing to do is to test different batteries at different voltages and see if that affects it. So right now it's claiming that it's at 3.65 volts. Let's pull it out and see what the multimeter does. Of course it has to turn off on me. Alright, let's uh, do that. Okay, we're at 3.74 instead of 3.56 or whatever. So I assume I have to adjust this to equal 3.75. Let's try that. Okay, I'm glad I did that off camera. This tiny little potentiometer in the middle here that won't focus. Won't focus! Anyways, that tiny potentiometer is super fragile. You need a tiny, tiny flathead to get that thing. And even then you feel like you're going to rip it into pieces. Won't even focus with this wide angle, but there we go. I got it at 3.72. It's off by like 0 0.02 volts, so... I'm, I'm okay for, with that. So let's try this with the next one. Let's measure it with the multimeter first. Okay, what the fuck is going on here? 4.48 volts. Ooh, something's wrong in this neighborhood. 4.48. Let's, let's do it. And there we go, 4.45. So 2 to 3, what is it, micro? or millivolts, who cares, 0 0.02, 0 0.03 volts inaccurate. I'm okay with that for right now, but uh, proof, I proved that the um, you can adjust it, you can calibrate it, and you can dim it. Okay, here's a perfect one. This is uh, 3 volts. This, this is a really scary battery. It's all rusted. It clearly went through water. So this is 3 volts, and clearly... It's um, giving us issues. So, yeah, there you go, 3.05. Okay, so that brightness is acceptable. Now let's switch to a fully charged battery. Okay, so 
like I said before, it's not as bright as it appears on the camera. It's uh, more of a, it is bright, but it's not nearly as bright as normal. So I, um, I'd like to think that whatever value this potentiometer is at right now is acceptable. Because uh, anything below 3 volts, um, uh, is, I'm okay with uh, the device turning off. Okay. I checked it, it's 63 ohms, so I'll have to buy a whole bunch of resistors that are um, 60, 60 ohms, I guess, in order to dim the brightness a bit. Um, it's a big difference between that and 400. Okay, I believe it was, um, according to my note, it was Eric that suggested initially, or the first one that suggested to me to buy these so thank you very much eric and uh we'll see in future videos um what kind of value these have there's almost no difference um in brightness considering um everything so that's good oh look at this thing this is the battery i'm using <laughs> it's crazy thank you for watching have a good day bye Oh, um, yeah, if you have any questions or anything you're not sure about, please, uh, throw me a comment, you know, ask, ask away. It's, um, that's the whole point of this channel. It's the only reason I do it is, uh, so I can share my experiences with, uh, with everyone and hopefully you benefit from it. So thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye.